The Equalizer, a popular TV show from the 1980s, mixes action and mystery in an exciting way. It's about Robert McCall, a former spy who now helps people in tough situations. But there's more to this show than just its suspenseful episodes. There are many lesser-known, fascinating stories about the series that are funny, shocking, and sometimes sad. These stories add an interesting twist to the show's history. Now it's your turn to share. What's your favorite memory or experience related to The Equalizer? We really want to hear your stories, so please share them in the comments. Get ready to explore the lesser-known aspects of this well-known series. Each discovery might be more surprising than the last. The TV show The Equalizer, which started in the mid-1980s, became a trendsetter for thrilling TV series. It's about Robert McCall, a former spy who wants to make up for his past by helping people in New York City who can't defend themselves. McCall, played by Edward Woodward, is a hero for the powerless and a threat to the powerful. Set in New York City, the show's background makes the story feel real and exciting. McCall is an interesting character because he's smart and good in a fight, and he really wants to do what's right. His secret past and his commitment to helping those in need make him an interesting hero. The show was praised for its exciting stories, well-developed characters, and how it talked about serious topics like corruption and what's morally right. It was known for being a high-quality show and got various awards and nominations. Edward Woodward's role as McCall was outstanding. He made the character deep and believable, winning praise from audiences and critics. The other actors also added a lot to the show, making it more engaging. In short, this series from the 1980s was a big deal. It mixed action, drama, and important questions about society, all set in New York City. Woodward's performance, in particular, made it memorable. It has influenced many TV series that mix action with serious social themes. The TV series was made by a team led by Michael Sloan and Richard Lindheim. They worked with skilled producers and directors to create a show that's known for its exciting action and deep moral questions. Directors like Russ Maybury and Richard Acala were key in showing the bustling city of New York in the show, which was important for the powerful stories they told. Edward Woodward played the main character, Robert McCall, but he wasn't the only important actor. Keith Sharabachka played Mickey Kosmayer, McCall's close friend, which added to the show's themes of loyalty and friendship. William Zabka had a recurring role as Scott McCall, adding an interesting father-son relationship that viewers really connected with. Additionally, actors like Mark Margulies and Robert Lansing had recurring roles that really added to the story. An interesting fact about the casting is that Woodward wasn't the first pick for the main role. The producers thought about several other actors, but Woodward's way of playing McCall, with a mix of class and intensity, really became a key part of the character and the show. The series, with its creative team and actors, was not just fun to watch, but also made people think about justice and right and wrong, making a big impact on its viewers. All these elements came together to make a show that was more than just fun. It showed with the challenges of society in an engaging fictional story. When the producers were looking for the main actor for the show, they thought about other actors before choosing Edward Woodward. They considered Ben Gazzara and Robert Culp for the role of Robert McCall. This shows how the show could have been different with another actor in this important role. The show also caught the attention of Arnold Schwarzenegger, famous for his action movies. His interest shows that the show was popular with a wide range of viewers, not just regular TV drama fans. A notable detail in the show is McCall's phone number, 212 555 4200. Even though it's not a real number, it became an important part of the show. It stands for McCall's willingness to help those who need it, which is a key part of the show. These small details add to the overall story of the series, giving both fans and new viewers interesting information about how the show was made and its impact. In the first episode of the show, Robert McCall had an Irish setter dog. But after this episode, the dog was never seen or talked about again. This is one of the show's unsolved mysteries. Melissa Leo, a famous actress, had a guest role in the show. Years later, she acted in a movie version of the series with Denzel Washington, who played Robert McCall. This shows how the show and the movie are connected and how important the series is in the entertainment world. The music in the series was very important and was created by Stuart Copeland. His music helped create the right feeling for the show. Stuart Copeland's father worked for the CIA, 
which is interesting because the show is about spying and secret intelligence. All these points, from the vanishing of McCall's dog to the link between the TV series and the movie, and the unique background of the music composer, are parts of the interesting and diverse background of the show. They help us understand the effort and creativity that went into making this memorable series. After the TV show finished, something big happened in the movie world. 25 years later, Denzel Washington played Robert McCall in a movie called The Equalizer. This movie was based on the original TV show and introduced McCall's fight for justice to new fans. In the show, McCall's choice of guns was important. He mostly used A380 Walther PPKS, a small and effective gun. He also often used a Desert Eagle, a gun known for its strong power. These guns became a big part of McCall's character, showing he was always ready for different situations. There's an interesting fact about Edward Woodward, who played McCall. Because he was older, they had to change how they filmed running scenes. As comedian Paul F. Tompkins said on the James Bonding podcast, actors playing the bad guys had to pretend to run fast, but actually ran slower. This was done so it looked like McCall could catch them, even though Woodward couldn't run very fast. These things from McCall's character moving to movies to how they made action scenes work help us understand the series better. They show how the people making the show were flexible and dedicated to bringing Robert McCall's story to the audience. Edward Woodward's portrayal of Robert McCall in the series had a profound effect on his real life. At the height of the show's success, Woodward found himself approached by individuals on the streets, facing real dilemmas akin to those in the series. His response was practical and empathetic. He carried flyers containing contact information for social services and legal clinics offering tangible help to those in need. The series showcased Woodward's adaptability as an actor. Initially, in the pilot episode, he adopted a soft American accent for the character of McCall. However, as the series progressed, the decision was made to let Woodward use his natural English accent. This change added a distinctive touch to his character, distinguishing him from typical American protagonists in similar genres. An interesting on-set anecdote reflects the series' dynamic filming environment. In the episode Desperately, featuring Ray Sharkey as Jeffrey Dryden, an assassin, a unique mistake occurred. During the climax, Woodward mistakenly called out Ray, instead of the character's name. This slip was left unedited, adding an unintentional layer of authenticity to the scene, as such mistakes can occur in real-life confrontations. Each of these elements, Woodward's off-screen actions, his accent adaptation, and the unscripted on-set moment contribute to the series' legacy. They demonstrate the blurred lines between art and reality and how actors and their characters can influence each other and the world around them.